Today we're going to talk about the wealth dynamics and how it can help you build a successful personal brand. My name is Diana Castro and I help entrepreneurs that are serious about amplifying their message and leads with the power of sustainable video content. If this is something you value, please subscribe. So first, what I'm going to do here in this video is first, I'm going to share with you the simplified definition of wealth dynamics. Then I'll share my simplified definition of personal branding. Then I'll go into the details, the structure of the wealth dynamics and how this can support your entrepreneurial journey. And you might be asking yourself, why is this important? That's because building a personal brand that is based on your unique strengths is going to give you a lot of leverage. And let me tell you, it's going to make the process a lot funner because business is already hard as it is. So why make it even harder? Okay. And this is especially important if you're going to use video to document your personal brand experience. Okay. So let's dive right in. The short definition of wealth dynamics is basically a test that provides you an inside view of your strengths and gifts. And this is under an umbrella of entrepreneurship. That is what they call like your wealth formula. For me, a personal brand is just a fancy word for your personal reputation. And let me tell you that if you have social media, you already have a reputation. You already have uh, things that people describe you as people already have a sense of who you are and what you do. And this conditions people on how to treat you or how to approach you in any specific area, especially if you're an entrepreneur and if you're in business. So another way of saying it is how are people describing you? That is your personal brand. Things like, Oh, she's so much fun. She's bubbly or she's just so mean that becomes your personal brand. Okay. So let me share with you a couple of big brands that are led by personal brands. So for example, Jeff Bezos, Mr. Amazon or Elon Musk, Mr. Tesla, they are personal brands and people identify them. They have a vision or an idea of who they are and what they stand for. And the best thing about this wealth dynamics is that it, it is based on Chinese wisdom and it is based on their, the assumption that everyone has an innate genius in them. And this is their specific flow. This is how they are able to make money easily. And both Jay Bezos and Elon Musk, they have their own individual wealth dynamics. Okay. So let me explain the wealth dynamics visually. I'll show you the graphics. The structure of the wealth dynamics looks like a square. And at the top of the square, we have the creators and the creators are those people who are really good at making ideas. Uh, they're the really good innovators of our time. So the Walt Disney's of the world or the Elon Musk of the world, they come up with ideas. They're always thinking in the future. They're always in the clouds, right? And then next to them is the stars and the stars are people who are really good at presenting ideas. They're really good at reaching out. They're really good at, um, attracting people because they're magnetic. Um, the operas of the world are a star. Then we have the supporters and the supporters are the best people to be leaders. They are the ones who attract people and keep people. They're really good with customer service. They have patience and, People like supporters are in the side of the square that is dedicated to the extroverts or what the wealth dynamics likes to call the people that do good with people. They, they, their wealth is based on focusing their attention to people under the supporter. You find the deal makers and the deal makers are a little bit of the supporter, but they are really good at finding the right timing. They are the best friends of the stars because they're the ones, they're the agents, right? The ones that bring the deals and close the deals next to the deal maker. You find the traders and the traders are people who are really good with timing. They slow down. There are, totally the opposite from the creator that's on top because the creator is with their head in the clouds, right? They are the intuitive kind. They are the ones who are reading for the future. They're innovating, right? While the traders are more sensory, their ears are in the ground and they're sensing the tempo of things. Um, traders are just excellent people to make sure that things get done on time and they are consistent. That's their superpower consistency. While the deal maker could make the money, you know, $1 million, uh, really fast. And then it might take them some time to do it again. The people who are the traders, they consistently hit the mark. They might not make the million dollars all at once, but they make 
little by little, they are really good on timing. Next to the traders are the accumulators, and they are in the opposite side of the star, which makes them um, the ones that ground the stars. The stars are really good at spending the money. The accumulators are really good with reading the data and making sure that you're not misusing your funds. So they're really good people to be good keepers, right? That like that's. Um, a strength that a good keeper would have. Above them is the Lord. And the Lord is the kind of person that you want to be analyzing the data. They're really good in understanding the data and the information. They're really good at managing assets. They're amplifiers of assets. They're really good at creating um, that space so that the supporters in the other side are not taking care of the analytics of things, right? And then you have the mechanics and the mechanics are people who just have a little bit of the creative and have a little bit of the Lord. They're the ones who understand the data, but they're also having that intuitive creative mind. And they put both of those superpowers together to bring something magical, to create something that has a system. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a pattern here. Um, the Lords have the magic of the mechanic and the accumulator, right? The traders have the magic of the accumulator and the deal maker. The supporters have the magic of the star and the deal maker. And if you notice this, the creators have the magic of the mechanic and the star. So everything works kind of in symphony. Let me just say that the people from the left side of the square are more introvert. They're more quiet. Their energy of wealth comes more when they are looking at information and analyzing information, which is the opposite of the supporters and the extroverts, right? So the top side of the square is more of in, in the innovation side. The people who are more towards the supporters are the magnifying side of the square and the people at the bottom they're all about timing while the people like the lords are the multipliers of wealth so this is a full circle and companies use this to get the perfect teams all right i think i've been talking a lot so let's go back so why did i just show you all of that well branding and wealth dynamics go hand in hand this is because wealth dynamics is a highlight of your unique flow your personal magic. So I'll share with you my personal wealth dynamics so you can take a peek of what it looks like. Okay. I am a creator star mechanic. This means that I have at the very top, my strength is creating. Then I am really good in the camera. I love doing this. And then I'm really good at putting things together. I'm really good at, you know, connecting the dots. That's what makes me a really cool mechanic. And you can tell I love, I love, love, love creating. I can create in my sleep. I, I come up with ideas super easily. That's something that I really enjoy. And video being a video production company allows me to, um, be in the creative aspect of things. My husband has other strengths that makes him great behind the camera and it makes him great in helping us run the business. So together we make a perfect, you know, team that we can bring to our audience, right? To our people, the people that we serve. I'm also a star. And this is why I love presenting. I love being with people. I love the, the highlighting other people through what I do. And I also get to do things like trainings. We do live training. So we're not just any video production company. We get to do the creative side and we get to do the training side. We create systems that we teach people. And that's where the mechanic highlights come from. I love putting things together and making sure that we systematize things so that we can do them faster and better. And being able to document our journey gives us an advantage or gives us a differentiational value against many other video production companies, because there's a lot of great, great people out there that do video, but nobody does video like we do video because we have our own unique gifts. And that's the same with you. Let me ask you, how are you communicating your message? How are you using your superpowers to make sure that you're doing a business that you enjoy and that is going to be in your flow? Because when you communicate your brand's value, that's a way that people are able to connect with you and follow energy, free energy will flow. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever taken the test. And if you have, what is your specific wealth dynamics profile? Okay, and I'm gonna close with this. Remember that video is the most 
powerful tool you have so that you can build a personal brand, so that you can build a brand that is unique because your specific magic needs to be highlighted and seen in the world. So if you would like to learn how to create sustainable video content that does not drain your soul and your energy, then, and only then, we must have a conversation. Visit me at fourproductions.com and schedule a call with me. I have built an entire system just to solve this problem. So I'll talk to you in the next video.